Let's translate the Shema. This is Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Now, is it the full Shema? Hmm, not really, but this is the part I want to go over today. You can see in English, this is the NRSV. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. So Shema, this is Cal imperative. So this is a command. This is to hear. Hear, Israel, the Lord our God is, is is implied, is is implied between Adonai, Yahweh, and Eloheinu. So the Lord is our God. And we have a new phrase. The Lord, Adonai, is one. So here, Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. Now, Ehad can mean one. And here, Yahweh is one. But alternatively, the one Yahweh, Yahweh alone, Yahweh only. So one and only, as it is in Zechariah 14, 9. So we're going to translate it, the Lord is one. But just know that Ehad here could be a little flexible. And the NRSV has it as the Lord alone. Or... You can see other examples. It could also be only the Lord. So just keep that in mind. Let me know in the comments. Do you think Ehad should be translated as one? The Lord is one. Do you think it should be something along the lines of only? So only the Lord. Do you think it should be alone? The Lord alone. Let me know in the comments. And then we have this command. It's it's not an imperative, it's perfect, but because it's Vav consecutive, it's actually the inverse opposite. So instead of perfect, it's an imperfect. And because it's an imperfect, we will translate it with will. You will love what? Here's the direct object marker. This marks what they are going to love or who they are going to love. You will love the Lord, your God. How will you love the Lord your God? With all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. So levav comes from lev, which is heart. Here you can see right there, heart. So it's semantically related to lev. The singular also used of more than one. In some particular usages, it can meet to beat the breast. That's in Nahum. Uh, I am absolutely determined. That's in Chronicles, Second Chronicles. So it can be a little flexible, and it can even point to the conscience. But ordinarily, it means heart but it's related to lave lave is one's inner self the organ of the heart it can also be the seat of vital force and this includes a villainous um, but that's that is it's pertaining to one's life so with all of your life your heart your inner self, your inclination, your disposition, your determination, your courage, your will, your intention, your attention, your consideration, your reason, your conscience. Metaphorically, this is the inside, the middle of the person. And it is the organized strength of the nefesh, which comes next. It's very possible we've got this idea of one's life being their strength so it's more than just simply the the heart as an organ uh, it also bears the idea of your your life the seat of your feeling and emotions you will love the lord your god with 
your feelings, with your emotions, with your whole inner self, and with all your nefesh. So normally nefesh will mean something along the lines of throat, neck, breath, living being. It can also mean a people, personality. Um, often emphatic, meaning oneself. It can mean life, soul. So, along the lines of you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, that means life. Nefesh also means life. But we don't want to say life and life, right? So we translate them differently. Heart and soul. But collectively, it's all of your emotions, all of your feelings, and with all of your life. All of your breath. You know, it's not just feelings and emotions. It's every breath you take, every move you make. And with all your strength. So, ma'oth, strength, power. So, not only is it a matter of feelings and emotions, your life, your soul, it's also about your strength. This isn't physical strength. This is mental fortitude. So, although that's not written in the lexical data, this is mental fortitude. You love the Lord with your emotions. You love the Lord with your life. How you live and move and breathe. And you love the Lord with your strength. With the mind. Commitment. If you want to show your support and sport some cool merch, pick up this Greek Jesus is Lord hat from the merch store today. So to translate, here, Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. And you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and watch this video here, Translating Joshua 1-9. We'll see you next time.